Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the M38 2019 edition from Lakewood Guitars. This limited edition guitar features a triple A bear claw European spruce solid top, solid cherry back and sides, a flamed maple neck with a plum fingerboard and a round D profile, a scale length of 650 millimeters and a bone nut with a string spacing of 55 millimeters, a plum bridge with a bone saddle with string spacing of 57 millimeters. The entire guitar is finished in an open pore satin gloss finish. The guitar has shallow machine heads and comes with a Lakewood branded Hiscox hard case and has an RRP of 2,200 pounds. In a world of diminishing resources, many manufacturers are turning to alternative wood choices and this guitar is made entirely of European woods. So I'm very interested to hear how it sounds compared to the more traditional woods. So let's have a listen to the guitar now and then come back afterwards for my thoughts. My first impression of the guitar is that it is very light, not just in terms of weight, but also in the colour of the woods used. It's certainly a different look, and the plum fingerboard and bridge particularly stand out compared to the ebony and rosewood we're used to seeing. There's some nice figuring in the top, and also the maple neck has a good amount of flame in it too. It's maybe a bit stark for my liking, and I'd like to see some warmer colours in there, but I admire Lakewood for sticking to the original colour of the tone woods and not being tempted to stain them a darker colour. As with the other Lakewood guitars that I've reviewed, the build quality, fit and finish are superb. It's a very sharply put together guitar with a clean build that reassures you that Lakewood are paying attention to all the details as they make it. I would describe the tone as crisp and clean. There is a bias to the top end and a lot of clarity, but it doesn't get too bright. The bass is present, but it's not a rich sounding guitar. It's actually got a very precise tone to it. I was actually thrown by the tone a little bit. At the moment, the guitar still sounds a bit new, but I think it has the potential to be a really good guitar once it's been played in and developed a slightly bolder voice. The guitar is really nice to play. The neck is a good balance between full and slim, and the string spacing at both the nut and the bridge really suit my style of playing, which is predominantly fingerstyle. The fretwork is really good and the action is low. 
It does feel a little bit stiff, but again, that could be down to the newness or maybe perhaps the factory provided strings. I would like to hear this guitar and play this guitar with a warmer set of strings on it. I think this guitar would suit fingerstyle players or plectrum players not looking for a big and bold sound. I think it would work well in a small group where another instrument can carry the low end. And I also think it would work well in a duo setting where the other player was using a darker, more robust sounded instrument and you wanted something that could give you a good contrast. At 2,200 pounds, this guitar faces some stiff competition from the well-known American brands, as well as some other European manufacturers and small luthiers. Some players might feel that they're getting less for their money because of the lack of exotic woods. But based on tone and feel and build quality, rather than the materials used, this guitar more than holds its own with others on the market. I've been impressed by all the Lakewood guitars that I've played, and this model is no exception. I think Lakewood should be applauded for using alternatives to the tropical woods that most manufacturers use, and I find it reassuring as a player that great guitars can still be made from these woods. Something about the tone of this guitar has struck a chord with me, and I'd really like to hear how it sounds in a few years' time. Judging by how good it sounds now, I think it's going to develop into a really beautiful sounding guitar. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe and follow us on social media to be notified when new videos are posted, and I look forward to seeing you next time.